Imagine waking up tomorrow to find all technology rendered useless by a massive solar storm. How would our world cope? Hey space enthusiast, welcome back to another episode. Today, we're diving into a potential catastrophe that could plunge us into darkness, a G5 solar storm. With our lives so dependent on technology, what happens when a solar storm knocks it all out? Let's explore the dangers, historical precedents, and what this means for our future. The Earth is on the brink of experiencing an unprecedented solar event. An intense G5 solar storm, caused by an enormous solar flare, is set to disrupt our reliable electricity infrastructure, communications, and navigation systems. Bill Nye has issued a dire warning about the potential chaos and darkness that awaits us. But are we prepared to withstand such a disaster? Let's rewind to the Carrington event of 1859, the most powerful geomagnetic storm on record. Telegraph systems worldwide failed, some even catching fire, and brilliant auroras were visible as far south as the Caribbean. If a similar storm hit today, our modern infrastructure, far more complex and reliant on electricity, could be devastated. In March 1989, a solar storm caused a massive blackout in Quebec, Canada, demonstrating the vulnerability of our power grids. So, what exactly happens during a solar storm? When the sun releases coronal mass ejections, CMEs, streams of energetic particles slam into Earth's magnetic field, causing geomagnetic storms. These storms can induce electric currents in our power lines, damaging transformers and leading to widespread blackouts. Our satellites and communication systems, crucial for daily operations and financial transactions, are also at risk. The current storm, classified as G5 or extreme, is being closely monitored by NOAA and other scientific organizations. With the sun at the peak of its 11-year activity cycle, solar flares and CMEs are more frequent, raising the risk of significant technological disruptions. But there's hope. Scientists are developing advanced warning systems to predict solar storms and mitigate their impact. NASA's Parker Solar Probe, launched in 2018, is providing valuable data on solar activity, helping us better understand and prepare for these events. Future missions, like the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe set to launch in 2025, will further enhance our predictive capabilities. The Parker Solar Probe represents a significant leap in our ability to monitor and understand the Sun. Named after the solar physicist Eugene Parker, the probe's mission is to get closer to the Sun than any previous spacecraft. It aims to trace the flow of energy and understand the heating of the solar corona. The outermost part of the Sun's atmosphere, which can reach temperatures of millions of degrees. By doing so, it hopes to uncover the mysteries behind solar wind, the stream of charged particles released from the Sun, and the mechanisms that drive solar activity. Since its launch, the Parker Solar Probe has made several close approaches to the Sun, each one bringing it closer to the solar surface. These encounters allow the probe to collect unprecedented data on solar magnetic fields, particle energetic, and the solar corona's structure and dynamics. One of the significant findings so far has been the detection of magnetic switchbacks, sudden and large deflections in the solar wind's magnetic field. These switchbacks might hold the key to understanding how the solar wind is accelerated and heated. The data gathered by Parker is invaluable. It helps scientists develop better models of solar activity and improves our ability to forecast space weather events. With each flyby, the probe provides new insights, refining our predictions and giving us more lead time to prepare for potential solar storms. This advanced warning system is crucial for protecting our technology-dependent society from the devastating effects of geomagnetic storms. Looking ahead, the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, IMAP, scheduled for launch in 2025, promises to further bolster our space weather forecasting abilities. IMAP's primary mission is to study the boundary of the heliosphere, the bubble-like region of space dominated by the solar wind, and the surrounding interstellar medium. By understanding the interaction between these two regions, scientists can gain insights into the processes that control the entry of cosmic rays into the heliosphere. 
IMAP will also play a crucial role in monitoring solar activity. It will provide real-time observations of the sun's output. Helping to detect solar flares and coronal mass ejections CMEs, the primary drivers of space weather. The spacecraft will be equipped with a suite of instruments designed to measure the properties of solar wind and energetic particles, enabling it to track the propagation of solar storms from their origin on the Sun to their impact on Earth's magnetosphere. One of the key instruments on IMAP is the Global Solar Wind Structure GLOWS, instrument, which will map the three-dimensional structure of the solar wind. This information is vital for understanding how solar wind conditions evolve over time and for predicting their impact on Earth. By providing a more detailed picture of the solar wind environment, IMAP will enhance our ability to forecast space weather and mitigate its effects. The combined efforts of the Parker Solar Probe and IMAP represent a significant advancement in our ability to predict and prepare for solar storms. However, these missions are just part of a broader strategy to protect our civilization from space weather threats. Ground-based observatories, such as the Daniel K. Inia Solar Telescope DKIST, in Hawaii, also play a critical role. DKIST, with its 4-meter primary mirror, is the world's largest solar telescope, capable of capturing high-resolution images of the sun's surface and magnetic fields. These observations complement the data from space-based missions, providing a comprehensive view of solar activity. In addition to observational capabilities, computational models are essential for predicting space weather. Scientists use supercomputers to simulate the behavior of the Sun and its interaction with Earth's magnetosphere. These models incorporate data from solar observations and improve our understanding of how solar storms develop and propagate. By refining these models, researchers can generate more accurate forecasts, giving us the ability to take proactive measures to protect our technology and infrastructure. Moreover, international collaboration is vital for addressing the global threat posed by solar storms. Space agencies and research institutions worldwide share data and resources, working together to improve space weather forecasting and mitigation strategies. The Space Weather Prediction Center SWPC, in the United States. The European Space Agency's ESA, Space Weather Coordination Center, and similar organizations around the world play pivotal roles in monitoring and predicting space weather. These institutions disseminate alerts and warnings to governments, industries, and the public, helping to minimize the impact of solar storms. Despite these advancements, there is still much work to be done. Increased funding and global cooperation are essential to further our understanding of space weather and to develop robust defense mechanisms. The establishment of a global space weather monitoring network, with satellites positioned around the sun to provide continuous coverage, would greatly enhance our predictive capabilities. This network could detect and track solar storms in real time, offering more accurate and timely warnings. Furthermore, Investing in the resilience of our infrastructure is crucial. Power grids, communication networks, and satellite systems must be designed to withstand the effects of geomagnetic storms. This includes reinforcing power transformers, implementing surge protection devices, and developing protocols for rapid response and recovery. By strengthening our infrastructure, we can reduce the risk of catastrophic failures and ensure a quicker return to normalcy following a solar storm. Public awareness and education are also important components of our preparedness strategy. Understanding the risks associated with solar storms and knowing how to respond can help mitigate their impact. Governments and organizations should provide clear guidelines and resources to educate the public about space weather and its potential effects on daily life. This can include emergency preparedness plans, communication strategies, and tips for protecting electronic devices. In conclusion, while we have made significant progress in understanding and predicting solar storms, there is still much to be done to protect our civilization from a potential catastrophe. Advanced missions like the Parker Solar Probe and IMAP are crucial steps forward, but they must be part of a broader strategy that includes increased funding, global cooperation, infrastructure resilience, and public awareness. By taking these measures, 
we can better prepare for the next major solar storm and safeguard our technology-dependent society from its potentially devastating effects. The question remains. Are we doing enough? The answer lies in our continued commitment to advancing space weather research and preparedness. The question remains. Are we doing enough to protect our civilization from a potential solar storm catastrophe? While progress is being made, more funding and global cooperation are needed to bolster our defenses against such space weather threats. Are we too dependent on technology? And could a disaster like the G5 solar storm be a wake-up call to reevaluate our reliance on it? Thanks for watching another episode of our channel. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more mind-blowing content about space. And while you're still here, click the video on your screen for more incredible insights into the universe.